Hello guys, long time no see. Hello, this feels so lovely to be back here filming a video with you. A lot's actually happened over this last seven months since I've uploaded here on YouTube. I kind of just went to ghost. So I thought I would like kind of film an updated life update for you guys. So then when I go in and like start posting normal content, it will be like easy for you to understand. And I've also missed you guys so much. I had no intention on going away for that long at all. I just got lazy. <laughs> there was quite a lot of like life shifts in my life and I just put YouTube at the back burner. But it's 2024 and I miss making YouTube videos so much. So I thought we would do a life update mukbang. Is that how I say it? Mukbang? Mukbang? Why I give you some updates on my life and we can like catch up. Like this just feels so good to be filming back here in front of you guys. Also, sorry about the noise. Every single neighbor has thought, hmm, it stopped raining. Let's all collect mow our lawn so if you hear that I'm sorry about it but this is like the only time that I do have to film it and I actually filmed this exact video on Sunday and I bought a new camera and I didn't realize that I filmed the whole video in slow motion so there's no audio attached to it and the film wasn't even workable right honestly broke my heart when I <laughs> inserted my footage into the laptop and I've checked it twice now to make sure I'm doing this right and I even thought about not even redoing it but I I was like, oh, I really want to. I gotta miss you guys. And it, I think this would just be like a really good video to have on my channel because the next couple of videos, not everyone may watch it. Um, so I thought, you know, if you want to know what's happening in my life, you can just click on this video. I am starting like a new challenge, like a fitness challenge. So I thought I would document that. So let's get into it. I'm actually kind of hungry. Okay, where do I start? I feel like this video either is going to be a really chatty one or it's going to be like straight to the point. I have no <laughs> clue what this video is going to hold. I'm going to eat because I'm so hungry and Twiggy sticks are so good, but like one Twiggy stick is 100 calories. Let's start off with, I'm in my old bedroom. <laughs> My background is completely different. I lived in an apartment outside of home for two years and I've moved back home with my parents. Nothing really happened with my roommate and I. Lucy just wanted to move in with her boyfriend's family to save a bit of money and I was also struggling to save as much as possible. My interest rates have gone up crazy amounts on my place. Even though it is an investment property, I'm still having to put a decent chunk of money into that investment property. And I wasn't able to travel or do anything or really put that extra money on my mortgage, which is what I wanna do. Like I wanna pay my investment property off as quick as possible. Like that was just kind of my goal. Yeah, I've moved back home and I kind of knew maybe for about three or four months before we even were gonna move out and it scared the hell out of me. I was like coming back to, I guess my old town, I feel like I'm going backwards. And you know, I'm 30 this year. I would have just thought my life would look completely different as a 30 year old. It's okay, sometimes you have to go backwards to move forward. And what's really like refreshing to know is so many of my school friends have moved back home with their parents. In Sydney, rental market is just insane, which is probably much like the rest of Australia. So a lot of people have had to move back home. So it's nice to not feel alone in that regard. Like pretty much majority of my friends live at home and there's a couple that live with their partner, but I personally don't know any of my friends or anyone that kind of lives by themselves. Like I just don't think you could really do it so hard to get ahead to. Like I wasn't even able to travel much. So that was half the reason. I have booked a trip to Europe in May and then I'm going to go to Bali with Lucy in June. So I've got a couple holidays booked which is so good. Living back at home I thought it was going to be a bigger adjustment than it has. Thought I would like really miss living out of home and I still do. Like I haven't felt lonely at all and I've essentially lived back home with my parents for four months and it's what works right now and that's okay. Like yeah I really like having someone to have dinner with and like you know, my parents have like been pretty chilled with me being back at home and they're saying that like they really love having me back at home and I get to see my niece and nephew and my brother and his wife because they live across the road tons. So I like that I'm able to help them out with babysitting 
visiting their kids because they still work like they both work full time so yeah it's been a good adjustment it's so much harder because I'm like an extra half an hour out from where I used to be so living further out is probably the more annoying thing I am spending more on petrol and like you know more of a travel time but for now it's really what works so yeah I'm happy about it how do people do mukbang and talk because I'm forgetting to eat right now the next biggest life update is I got a new job which I'm super happy with it kind of just like fell in my door if that makes sense like the, it's not like there was a job on seek or something like that my friend's boss knew my boss and they had an opening and yeah it's been the best thing ever I didn't realize how toxic my old workplace was until I left and I was really unhappy for that job pretty much within a couple months of starting there and so many people had told me like it's a bad time to change jobs just accept any job that you have because you know COVID times we don't know what's happening you might go in another lockdown like just be grateful you have a job and like there were days where I would drive home crying from that workplace it was so toxic and they just weren't my people there's one girl that I still keep in contact with and she was like the sweetest I don't think I would have lasted without her we both also quit at such similar times because like it was just too much so many dodgy things were going behind the scenes it was just so freaking toxic like I felt like I got bullied all the time you essentially don't realize how toxic workplaces are until you step away and you're in a new work environment and you're like oh yeah sometimes I don't feel like going to work but I never have stress about going to work or I never have stress about what I'm gonna get told yeah I used to get made fun of for the weight I kind of was and what I ate and it was so toxic I feel like I saw such a broken version of me last year you guys would have seen that video of how I felt so lost and lonely and like to be honest like I haven't felt this happy or content with life for ages for years like I don't feel lonely at all yes I am still single and I would love to find a partner but mental health wise I'm doing really well and I'm so happy about it because like you guys saw last year how much I struggled and I didn't realize how much I struggled until I stepped into a new work environment and so many of my new environments changed too and I just wish I could give you know Kim a year ago a big hug and say it gets better you're very strong and for anyone who is in a toxic work environment I'm so sorry you're going through that because it is so hard I'm really happy with my new workplace I get along with everyone I love my bosses they're like the best they're like a husband and wife and like they're 40 so such similar age to me yeah we're all just like so chilled and like we all are busy but we help each other out and we get stuff done so I'm really happy with that but yeah other than that I'm doing really well the only thing that I'm struggling with is body confidence and the weight that I've put on or the weight that I never lost after losing weight <laughs> Long story short, I lost like a bit over 10 kilos during COVID in 2021 and then I gradually put it on, you know, over a year or so and I've probably been this way for quite a while now and I struggle so much with gym anxiety um, and staying consistent. I started a new challenge yesterday, which you guys will see vlogs about, um, where I'm starting like a health kick um, and I'm getting a PT once a week. Like I'm so excited for who I'm gonna become in the next couple months and like I don't feel as anxious at the gym. I don't know why it took me so long to get help, <laughs> but I'm going to the gym with my friends. So again, that helps so much and I don't think we both could have done it by ourselves. Like we've spoken about this so much, but like it's so much easier to have someone else to bounce off with, someone who wants wants the same goals as you and someone who essentially yeah wants to become more confident in the gym I think right now like now that I'm turning 30 this year like I'm like done putting shame on my body and I think that I just know that I need to make these healthier changes and like if it takes me all year to lose 10 kilos who bloody cares like I'm realizing I need to show up more for myself and become more disciplined and like that we're always not going to be motivated and we're just going to have to enforce discipline um the next one my dating life I think yeah last year I went on like one first date and I went on a couple dates with this guy that I was seeing but other than that I have not been on any other dates I've like randomly spoken to like one person but it like fizzled out and everything else like I think I went into 2023 being like I don't want any pen pals and I did not get a pen pal at all 
the one guy that I spoke to, he like suggested a date and then it fizzled out and then I suggested a date and then it just never followed up and he never like asked to like see me. So then I was like, okay, I'm just not gonna message you, right? And that's what I've kind of learned. I've learned, okay, it's okay to like show your interest like once, but if it's not reciprocated or not um, shown, then I just like give it up. You know what I mean? I just let it fizzle out and yeah, dating is just so hard and I think last year I also told myself I didn't want to meet anyone on the dating apps because I wanted to meet people in real life and I never went out and I hate that. I re-downloaded the dating apps about a week ago. I'm chatting to a couple people but nothing consistent so we'll wait and see. I made it a goal this year to go on 12 dates whether that's 12 first dates or like 12 dates with like two or three people like who knows. I did that goal so basically if I chat to a guy and I go on a couple dates and then it fizzled out I don't stay in broken heart Kim for too long I bounce back but again it's almost the end of January and I have not even spoken to anyone where it's gotten into that date territory so I need to like somehow be a bit consistent with that or try and like work it out I don't know this year I'm doing like the 12 week year and each quarter I've kind of set different goals like the first goal I really just want to focus on like feeling more confident losing weight creating these healthy habits and getting into like kind of a better mindset and then the next one I've like chosen something completely different um so I'm gonna hope that works out this year instead of setting heaps of goals and then just feeling lost I feel like I focus so much better on one goal and like I get so much more clarity and all of that I'm trying to think of what else I could talk to you about I don't know I've been posting pretty religiously on TikTok so I'll leave my handle here if you want to follow me there and I want to focus more on shorts because I posted a few of my TikToks on shorts and it's kind of cool but YouTube is still my heart and baby and I've missed it so much over the last couple months so I'm so excited to get back into it I think if I have any more updates I'll leave it in the comments but this is all I can really think of. I'm sure there's other like little things. <laughs> But if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you did like seeing me back in your subscription box, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you are new. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. It was so good to be back. And I'm so excited for this year.